Okay, so um, what I wanted to show you uh, is a little this command line tool called Hub. Uh, it's silly that I cannot see what I'm typing, so just a second. So, um, so uh, this is a little tool called Hub. Uh, it's a um, little script that wraps Git, so it proxies all the commands um, to Git, actually. So I'm not, uh, not going to use any of the standard Git commands, but I'm just going to show you uh, that it's right here. And I've got it alias to Git as well. So when I type Git, I actually go through Hub, and any commands that are not recognized just uh, go beam forwarded to. So what it does is um, it started the, the Hub is started project by the funk, Chris Vonstruck from GitHub. And uh, at some point, he, he just kind of uh, handed off development to me. And it augments, it first uh, started out as augmented uh, several uh, commands that are uh, standard in Git just to add some interaction, uh, add some support for GitHub. So for instance, what I can do is I can say git clone, but I can just say git merge. And I can say user day. I guess this is the name of the repo. Wow, this even works. So. Um, I didn't have to type the whole URL, right? So uh, it's full of like shortcuts like this, but uh, some of the power for me at, uh, at least comes from the kind of the custom commands that I can do. Um, also, one of the things that I like to do very much is uh, I'm doing a lot of open source, so this is very useful for me. So uh, if I want to add, if I want to add uh, a remote. For a GitHub project, I can do that um, for a GitHub fork. And I can do that, and it just figures out the URL automatically because it kind of follows the conventions of GitHub naming, which is very simple. The fork is just named the same, but it's under your username. So um, it does this, but it also does some very cool stuff. Uh, like here, we have some custom Git commands. So I can actually create a, a Git repo on GitHub. And uh, I can uh, fork somebody else's repo without ever leaving the terminal. So what I don't like is I don't like interrupting my flow. I like to be in a terminal. I don't like to go to the website. I also don't like to open pull requests from the website as well. So uh, what you can, I'm not going to demo it because it might be a little bit boring uh, for me to try to create a pull request for a project. But what it does is it actually just opens Vim or any other editor that you have on um, on the command line and ask you for a git, like a git commit me message. So you type that, but it's not a commit message. It's actually just opens a pull request on GitHub. And you don't have to and do on, open any browser, pro, browser window or anything like that. And lately, I have this command as well called, uh, I don't know, I'll trace it out on Faraday, uh, which is CI status, which uh, queries the CI status API, which is very simple. And it's broken. I shipped this version, but it's broken. I need to fix it. I plan to hack on this tomorrow, and I've opened up an issue for it on, on hack day. So you can join me and like, uh, help me uh, do some things. The problem here is that there are multiple statuses updated from Travis CI, and one of them is pending. The other one is success, and it reads the wrong one. So I have to fix that. So you're welcome to hack with me tomorrow. I have like at least three ideas that I want to work on it, which are a little bit non-trivial. It's written in Ruby. Uh, but if you just have an idea as how to wrap some other workflows related to GitHub, uh, come and approach them, even if you don't write Ruby. And we'll try to make that happen. So thanks. <laughs>